Hi Sagittarius, it's Elle here to do an end of month reading. So this is this reading is going to go to the end of the month. Of course, it could, you know, this could happen to you later or earlier. I don't know. But thank you for being here. Thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscriptions. Please keep them coming. Um, let's jump into this. Okay. So Okay, so we'll jump into love and then I'll get into the other stuff. Um, some of you just had a, a kind of like an epiphany moment. Like, this is not going to work. This is toxic. I need to worry about myself. I need to worry about my own health, wealth, and happiness. I need to put more energy, effort, time into myself. Some of you could have started some workout plans also, but something was making you entirely too frustrated, too anxious, too upset, uh, too in your mind and your thoughts about this person, about the situation. It was uh, the situation or the person was or is devilish. Um, it was, it was like a codependency type of thing. You know, they needed you for whatever you needed them for whatever you feel. You both feel the void that you probably didn't even notice was there until it was too late. Um, the relationship got started on, on, on false pretense. Um, it just, it, it drove somebody else down. It could be you, Sag, or you could have done this to someone else. Uh, they, or there's like a toxic connection or bond here. Um, it could even been sexual in nature because of the devil with the ace of wands. So it could have been very, you know, highly sexual. And, and maybe that helped you forget about some things. Um, but anyway, it looks like you or they walked away decided to walk away. It's like, you know, this is not, I'm not going to ever be completely happy in this situation with this person. I need to walk away. And, and either you, and some of you felt like there's so much more for me out here. And maybe you even found somebody else. The Eight of Cups, maybe a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio walked away from you. You walked away from them or it was mutual. Um, or you found a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, could have been dealing with a Capricorn or Capricorn. There was like a, a tie here. Like, you give me money or you do this. It was very off. It's not what a relationship should have been based upon, but this was what you guys' relationship was based upon, okay? So there was a walking away here. And somebody said, you know what? I got to get control of my own toxicity, my own toxic ways. You know, the good and the bad within myself. It could be a cancer person. Um, or you took on that energy. Spirit helped you take on that energy. He said, look, get yourself together. You can only be involved in toxicity if you're toxic or you're attracting it. Like attracts, like the law of attraction. Um there, there's something here for you to fix within yourself. Always know that, okay? So, and you said, you know what? I'm going to get myself in order. I'm going to move past this, move forward. I don't need to be involved in this. I'm done. Looks like you or they made a final decision. One that is, is purely logical. And it, it just makes sense. It just makes sense to, to sever ties. Maybe even without speaking to this person. Or maybe... You said harsh words or that wasn't a conversation of I'm never talking to you. It was it was more silent because the king of swords, he cuts you off and he doesn't say anything. The queen of swords is going to do the most talking. So this might have been a person who just kind of faded to the background. Maybe after a blow up, but you guys never had a conversation after the blow up. So this is just somebody who in their mind, because it makes sense, several times. Also, this is a person, this is the king, 
he wears purple for, you know, royalty and, um, you know, spiritual realm. And, uh, see, people just think he makes decisions out of his mind. But how does spirit speak to us? Through our minds, through our thoughts. So his thoughts are also connected to spirit, too. So this person kind of had a spiritual awakening here with the Ace of Wands. And then also just kind of in their mind made sense of what is best to do. Because that's why we have our brain, our mind, you know. We can rationalize, too. We don't need to wait for spirit to come and take this person away. No, we're all adults, right? So, um, what is this? So you or they decided, done, you know, finish, finito. And somebody decided to go in a new direction, new development, to jump off the cliff over here with, it could be anybody. These two cards together say Aquarius or somebody with Aquarius in their chart. Could be a Libra, could be an Aries. It could be anybody, but you decided to cut something off and cut it out. Also, somebody could have had two men, two energies, because uh, somebody decided to go after what it is, what is new, something in a new direction, because this is, they're going after their heart's desire. This is his affirmation, the King of Wands is, I desire. So question your desires. Was it wrong? Were your desires kind of superficially based? Are they based in just sexual connections? Are they based in just pleasurable connections? The, when the King of Wands is, um, none of my cards are reversed, but if he's reversed, this is a heart issue because your desire comes from your heart. So change your heart. Change what it is you desire. So this is, this will be a person who has to look within. This could be you, Sag. This could be someone else. So you had to, you did, I feel like you did this or the other person did this. Somebody changed here to the point where they didn't want anything old. They wanted something new, better, in a new direction. Okay. Um. So that's what's going on for you in love. All right, Sag. I don't know who you are, what you're doing, but I'm just going to give you a warning. Some of y'all making money, and it ain't on the books, and it ain't at nobody's job, okay? I'll just leave it at that. Whatever you're doing, I just heard this. I'm going to say it. Hurry up and do it and be done with it because... This could blow up on you. This could blow up in your face. Or this could put you in a place of imprisonment. I'll say this too. Whatever you're doing for money, you don't want to do it anymore. You don't want to do it anymore. You don't want to do it anymore. And you may be waiting for your, your money to be returned to you, a debt to be repaid, waiting for your investment to come, you know, your ROI in your... um. Maybe your, your, the money that you make that nobody else knows about, you may be waiting for that money so that you can put this behind you and do something else. Um, okay, so that's, that's also, um, that's, that's, I mean, that's the, what the cards are saying. I can't really put it any other type of way. Some of you, um, somebody's holding back money from you, stealing money. There's a thief here. They see that there's a lot of money coming in. And then you have, under the deck, false person. It could be somebody that you're laying down with. I don't know. Um, somebody is just not being honest. Just not an honest person. They didn't come in it, into it with honesty. Um, yeah, okay. Once you get this payout, you guys may travel too. Some of you just have secret plans of how to bring in a better financial state for yourself too. 
So it's like you're waiting for money to put this money into a secret plan of bringing about a better financial state for yourself. And you're just holding this plan to yourself. You get the Seven of Swords twice. Here, right here, and here. So lots of secret, secret plans, okay? And, um, and it might involve some uh, under-the-table activity, but it doesn't look like you want to stay in it too long. Okay, you just want to bring something into fruition and then get out of it. Um, looks like when you, you, yeah, okay, so when you get this money, it's like you're going to have a change of career altogether. Your journey is changing. Like things are going to pick up for you. You may be getting online sales orders. I don't know, talking to people about different prospects of, of uh, jobs and things of that nature. But you're going on a different journey. You don't want to do whatever you're doing anymore. It's too dangerous. It's too, you sneak. It's like a sneaking aspect with, with money. Uh, I don't know. It's underhanded. It's sneaky. I don't think that it's malicious in nature. Like, you're not going around, you know, often people for money. But it's something about money and, and uh, you know, you have to be discreet with this. Okay? Um... Yeah, you're trying to bring it to bring something new, and you know you can do it. You have all that you need to do it. You want this old cycle to be done away, right? Um, so you you're juggling. You're kind of in between worlds here, juggling that old way and then that new way. Okay, it looks like you're gonna get what you want. Uh, I don't see anybody going to jail, <laughs> um, but uh, get in, get out. Okay. Um. And someone could be stealing money from you or just false altogether, okay? Um, someone could be wanting You want somebody to have your baby? If someone's asking you this, Sage, it could be a Virgo. Someone wants another baby. Or you do want a baby. Um, but I also got like somebody wants your baby, of course, this would be female because they're a false person and they, and they just want security. They want money. They want security. Okay. All right. So moving on. Okay. Okay. Um. Between, like, there's a choice here. Somebody had options. Maybe two or more. I don't know. But um, you or they, your person of interest is feeling like, I would I would choose you, you know. Um, someone wants forgiveness. Okay. Um, what, what you want to say to your person is that addicted. You know, maybe addiction, addictiveness kept you in a situation far too long. Maybe it contributed to some insecurities. Um, maybe this person you was dealing with was a material girl, guy. This is also materialism. You know, um, the false person here could be just that. Um... This is what you want to say to your person. Um, wow. Uh, wow. Okay. So I'm going to go into the shells in just a second. Um, your person wants to say to you, I love you. So that's powerful because even through all of it, they love you. And this, this is just about the sex. How I am interpreting this is they, they knew that. Maybe you had a sexual connection with somebody or a pleasurable one. Um, they knew. They knew that or they know that you guys have something entirely different and stronger. The person wants to say, I dream about you. Okay? Um, very nice energy. It looks like, Sad, you want to move toward and you want to do this fast. You want to move toward uh, 
a, a new prospect in love or someone newer, um, it, some, an old situation, you know you just had to sever ties to that. You had to run, leave. That's what that shell says. Because you want marriage. Because you have courtship here. This was, you have some someone that you're actively courting. And you either you or they want marriage. Let's look at this upside down. Okay. Or or both. You feel like this is a smart move or a smart person, or you had to do the more logical thing or make the more logical decision. You may even feel like someone you're dealing with is smart, is logical. You have caring, okay? Um, this is You might be in a more caring connection. Maybe there was a, a disconnection with you and someone else. That brought you a concern, like, does this person love me? Do they even like me? Is it just about the money? Is it just about the sex? Um, so, yeah, that, that situation brought you a lot of concern. And now you're at a place of, of maybe in a new courtship where you want it all with this person. Marriage, a child, you put away doing something in your financial sector and maybe another relationship. Um, you just don't want it back. And some of you are on a different journey. You even could be traveling, too, with this person, with your love interest. Um, let's, let's get some additional messages and then close this out. Looks really good. It's just like, like everybody, closing out cycles. You know, September is the ninth, the ninth month. That's about almost being at a place of, you know, it's almost done. And you have the nine of swords and this is, this is almost done. You don't have to deal with this or that or this person or that anymore. Um, let's see what the additional advice is for Sag. It says, don't stop. Whatever you're doing, that's good and positive. Don't stop. Look for a sign. Okay. Um. Listen to your intuition, especially some of you who are doing something that might be, you know, um, illegal or something like that. Big happy changes, guys. Beautiful. Okay, and you're ready for it. Don't think that you're not ready for it. Okay, very good. Um, let's get. Okay. All right, so let's see. Big happy changes, guys. And it looks like you're in the, the process, of, process of making those. You don't want to be involved in whatever you are involved in with whomever. It's just that, you know, it, it's for the time being. It looks like you're putting a lot of closure to something with someone. Let's see. Okay, so someone is saying to you, Sag, or you're saying to someone, I'm trying to get more money for us, so I don't have a lot of time. Okay, and then you're saying that maybe another person is for the streets, period. They are for the streets. They do not belong in a loving connection at all. They are for the streets, okay? Um, let's get two more cards. Okay. Wow. Someone is saying this is an eight party relationship. I'm open to everybody. So maybe that's what you were dealing with. And, um, or this is you said you walked away from that. This person was just open for, for everybody. And then there's, see, see, this is polar, polar opposite. I'm going to ask you to move in with me. Look, you got somebody trying to get more money for you so they don't have a lot of time. Uh, they're going to ask you to move in with them or you them. 
And then you've got some some polar uh, energy where it's like this person had lots of people in the connection. They were for everybody. And they, they literally are for the streets. Like, let them go. Let them run the streets. Um, so it's like you were dealing with either you or you were dealing with someone who is um, just wasn't good for you. And maybe you found someone else or vice versa. The other, you know, this is how someone feels about you. You were just toxic and horrible. And you know, they found somebody else and they feel like, you know, that for you. So anyhow, um, however, it, the chips fall. If it doesn't fit for you, don't make it fit. If it fits, it fits. Um, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question. You can text a uh, question to the number below. Um, receive the answer to your question all on your mobile device and pay for your question on your mobile device. Also, you can go over to the website, book your own reading there. All right. Thank you guys. Take care. Many blessings to you.